Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor, and oh boy have I got something great to share with you today. We've listened to what you're all saying, and we've actually put together now our geometry nodes as bundles, which is not only going to save you a ton of time, but also a lot of money as well. Now before jumping into the actual bundles, at the end of this video, for those of you struggling out there, I'm also going to show you three ways, that's right, three ways of how to use the geometry nodes within your own project. So the easiest way to use them from simply copy and paste in to append down to the asset manager. So stay to the end and I'll show you that. But before doing that, as always, please, please give this video a like and make sure if you're not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button as we aim to produce 100 geometry nodes. That's right, 100 geometry nodes over the next few months and we already are well on our way there with 35, I think, to close to 40 by now, something like that. All right, so let's get stuck in and let me tell you about these Geometry Node bundles. So first up, all of these packs are designed to work with harmony with each other. In other words, if you get this uh, Geometry Node bundle, it should really help you with whatever you're trying to do within that particular project. So the first one we have is the Blender Fantasy VFX and Magic Geometry Node pack. So this pack is designed to make VFX a breeze. So within there, you're going to find the lighting and electricity. You're going to find our magic and potions. So this is great if you want to actually create swirling cauldrons or bubbles within potions. And of course, it couldn't be a VFX pack without adding in there our fire geometry node. So this lets you create things like braziers and torches with just a few clicks. And finally, to top it all off, We've also added in there our stylized waterfalls and rivers. So whether you're a game developer working on fancy worlds or a 3D artist looking to level up your portfolio, this pack will save you hours and hours of work. So moving on, the next pack we've got is our construction and pathways kit. And building complex environments can be time consuming. But with this Blender Geometry Node pack, you're going to say goodbye to most of that hassle. Now, trust me when I say this, I put a few scenes together, created a few assets in my time, and one of the hardest ones to actually create is boats. And within this actual pack, you will find our boat generator, which is incredibly useful for any type of boats that you might have. You'll also find there, in there, our wooden planks. This is one of my favorite geometry nodes that we've actually made because it makes creating bridges, and basically anything to do with wood, an absolute breeze. Also in there, you will find our conveyor belt node, which makes creating factories, especially in the era of AI, really, really helpful. And finally, we've also put in there our fence geometry node, which makes it really easy to create fences, especially going over bridges and lumps and things like this, which is really, really hard, actually. And all of these things can be done in a few clicks. It's really that simple, guys. So I personally designed this kit to speed up your workflow without sacrificing the quality of your model. So everything in there, you can be sure, will be pretty high quality and easy to use. So moving on, we've got a weather and nature effects pack. And this is all about making your environments come to life. Now, if you're like me, I love 3D modeling. I love animation. I love textures. I'm not so keen on actually creating weather in environments. I love creating the environments, but creating the snow and the rain and all that stuff is not really for me. So I use this pack a lot to save me all of that time and all of that knowledge actually trying to work out how to do these things. So within this one, you're gonna find everything from realistic rain and snow to fully procedural coral reefs and foliage and perfect really for any scene that you can come up with, whether you're crafting an outdoor jungle, a snowy mountain top, or an underwater adventure. The customization options in this pack alone are endless, letting you control every aspect of the weather and environments. And so whether you're a game developer working on a dynamic world or a visual artist looking to enhance your renders, this pack will really bring your creations to life with minimal effort. That's the most important thing. If you're like me, you're pretty lazy. Minimal effort, guys. Moving on then, we've got the Medieval Builders Geometry Node Kit. And this has two of the best geometry nodes we've ever created within there. One of them is hay. If you're creating anything that's kind of medieval or farms, things like this, you're going to want this geometry node because it makes creating hay really, really simple. It just simplifies the whole process. One button, click it, and then you have hay. And the other one is Bridgify. I love Bridgify. It's really easy to um, set out bridges, make little holes in the bridges and things like this. 
Along there, though, that's not just the end of this pack, though. We also have our cobblestones in there, which is great for creating paths or terrains. And we also have our brick creating in there, which is great for creating walls in a medieval theme or even realism. It can go both ways with that one. So really, really handy for construction work and environments. And what a time saver this one is. And lastly, but not least, my favorite bundle out of the whole lot is the environment design pack, the ultimate John Pertunode for environments. And within there, you're going to get our foliage creator. First of all, you're gonna get the desert one, which is absolutely amazing, saves you tons of time. Basically, you can create an environment from scratch with just a few clicks, creating all of the grass, the terrain, the cactuses, the stones and rocks and things like this. Um, moving on, we also have the same kind of version of that, but in a jungle theme. So if you want a jungle theme, it does exactly the same thing. Puts in all those ferns, all that foliage. You can paint on it any way you want. And if you want something a little bit more stylized, we also have our meadow themed terrain generator. And this one just creates beautiful flowers and grasses and meadows. And finally, what we've also put in there is the terrain actual creator. So with this, you can actually create terrain by dragging out your mouse. It will create terrain. It'll also put on there all of the grass and meadows on there at the same time. And best of all with that one, you can also put massive rivers and waterfalls in there. Again, with just dragging out your mouse. So really, really great that one. My absolute favorite. And that's why I've saved it till last. And now moving on, I'm going to show you the best ways to actually use these geometry nodes. So here we are in a blender scene and you can see here I actually have my meadow geometry node terrain here. So here it is. Here is all the plants that come along with it. Now the best thing about control C, control V, so basically copy and paste, is that I can just grab this. I don't even need to grab these parts and all I need to press is control C. So once you've got it into an actual blend file, you can just control C and bring it into another file. So I'll open a new blend file up now. So here is our brand new Blender file. And what I'm going to do is just delete these out of the way. So delete everything out of the way, press Control V, and here it is. Now you will notice as well, it comes over exactly the same space where you actually had it in the original file. But here it is now ready to actual use. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean that now we've got actually the geometry node on there. So you can see the geometry node is in there. And because it's actually in the file now, it's available to use on anything in this actual scene. So this could be a scene you're working on. You just basically control C, control V into the scene you're working on. And there is your geometry node. Now, the other way of doing this is through the asset manager. Now, for me, that is the best way of doing it because you can actually put all of your geometry nodes in the same place. So I'm going to show you how that works now. So first of all, you will notice up at the top here, I don't have one that says Asset Manager. What I'm going to do is go to the plus button. I'm going to come over and you will see one that says Asset Manager here. Now, for those of you using earlier versions of Blender, this might not be available. If it isn't, just click on um, Animation and you'll have a screen like this open up. So you can see now it's here. Let's come in and first of all, let's name it. So we'll name it Asset Manager like so. And there we go. And then what I want to do is I just want to come up to the top left hand side here, drag this across and then come over to where the actual dope sheet is. Click the little down arrow and go on over. And the one we want is asset browser. And now you can see we have the actual asset browser. Now, how do we actually put this then into our asset browser? So how do we put this geometry node and all of the other geometry nodes into the asset browser? Really, really simple. So all I'm going to do first of all is going to come down current file and we'll see at the moment we've got all of these in now i'm just going to delete all these at the moment so i'm going to shift click them all right click clear assets and there they go okay so now i just want to put this meadow into here so i'm going to go over to the right hand side where the actual geometry node is i'm going to right click on this box here and click markers asset and there we go there is our meadow actually in here now what i recommend you do is save out your file so file we're going to save as I'm going to put it here, jump to no test. Let's drop it in there. Double click, click OK. Now, the other thing is I would recommend that you also go to external data and make sure that you autom automatically pack all the resources. So click that button on. You'll see now it's actually clicked on and then save it out again. All right. So now how do we get those in then to another Blender file? So imagine that this is populated by lots and lots of geometry nodes. This can be in lots and lots of different blend files or all in the same blend file. It's up to you. 
So let's open another Blender file, a clean version again. So here we are with another Blender file. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete these. I'm going to press Shift A and just bring in a plane. I'm going to make my plane a little bit bigger like so. Now let's go to Edit. We're going to go down to Preferences. And then what I'm going to do now is go to File Paths. And we want to add in wherever those blend files are with our geometry nodes there. So all I'm going to do is click the plus button. Now my blend files are actually in here where it says blender files, but you will see that it doesn't actually have anything there. And the reason is because they're hidden at the moment. So just coming over to the right hand side, click on blend files, and now you'll see we've got it here. So what I want to do now is imagine this is populated by all the blend files with the geometry nodes in there. All I want to do is add asset library. So add asset library, close that down. Now again, because I opened up a new file, I've not actually got my asset manager. So what I'm going to do is click plus general asset manager set it up if you don't have it there and then what i want to do now is change this from user library to blender files and here we go look at what's in here so now what we can do is just drag this geometry node out and drop it in here like so and there we go we've got everything in there now what i tend to do in the original file as well is i tend to sort all these out to make it much much easier to see what i'm doing in other words you can actually in the original file put all of these leaves and things in their own uh, catalog. So what you can do is you can put it in, let's say leaves, like so, come to one assign and just grab all of these, drag, drop them in, like so. Now at the moment it won't let me do that and the reason is because this isn't the original blend file. So if that happens to you, you gotta go back to the original blend file and then drop them in because these actually are being, they're kind of being appended from the original file. All right, that leads me on then to append. So we can also append things. So once more, let's come up. And what we'll do is we'll go to default, load factory settings, and there we go. Let's delete these out of the way. Let's press Shift A, bring in a plane. So this then will be the third way that you can actually bring in geometry nodes, and this one's called append. So we're gonna go to file, go down to where it says append, and then once more, we just have to find where the file is. So now you'll see this is the file where they were again, so I'm just gonna double click this, go down to where it says no tree, and then what I'm gonna do is click on meadow. So click on meadow, nothing happens apart from it's brought in all the leaves and things, but you will notice now if I click on this plane, go over to the right hand side, click add modifier, geometry nodes, little down arrow, click on meadow, and there you go, it's actually in the file. So three different ways of how to bring your geometry nodes into your own projects or how to have them as a vast library of geometry nodes, making things really easy. Imagine working on a project where you've got a roof geometry node, a plank geometry node, some rain geometry nodes, and you can just drag and drop them in at ease as you're actually working. That is basically what you wanna do with your asset manager. So all of the geometry nodes go in the same actual file, and then you'll be able to bring bring them in whenever you need them. I also do this with the asset manager as well, with, for instance, our Blender Craft, which is our compositor. I also do it with our Human OBJ, which gives me the right scale. I also do it with my um, sky uh, texture lighting. So everything can be dragged and dropped, same as HDRs and things like this. Makes it really, really easy to create projects. All right, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you love the new Geometry Node bundles, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.